And a bill to codify protections for same-sex and interracial marriages is headed back to the House. The nays are 36. Uh, the bill, as amended, has passed. Mr. President, that what a great Senate day. That was the Senate approving the what legislation a in a bipartisan day. vote yesterday. ABC News political reporter Brittany Shepard joins me live now for more on this. Brittany, this bill has been through a few different makeovers to reach this point. So in its current form, what would it do and how significant is this step? Well, Diane, it would enshrine the right to both same-sex and interracial marriage. Just a monumental uh, move for Democrats on two levels. One, for voters. Millions of voters who are in those same-sex and interracial uh, marriages who are really nervous. You know, I hit the campaign trail a lot before the midterms, and I spoke to voters who, frankly, were really, really scared that after the fall of Roe over the summer, that Supreme Court justices were signaling that they were open to revisiting a lot of legislation on other civil liberties, including their own marriages. I think it's important to remember that it wasn't a very long time ago that interracial and same-sex marriage were just flat out illegal. You couldn't do it anywhere in the United States. And now those millions of voters can breathe easy knowing that they have the trickier chamber in Congress. That's the Senate on their side. And then on another level, it's just a magnanimous, huge win for Democrats and Joe Biden. This is probably one of the last major pieces of legislation that they'll be able to eke through. Um, as they have unanimous control of Congress, you know, that's going to be going away in the beginning of, of next year. And there's also a huge bipartisan uh, blowout breakthrough. You know, at least now, now we can say that 12 Republicans on Democrat side is a, is a massive breakthrough. And it inspired something that we rarely see in the chamber senate applause after it passed thanks to those 12 republicans who joined democrats so what's the reaction been like on capitol hill well, lawmakers really trying to underscore how magnanimous and significant this is. You see Kristen Sinema, she's one of the openly bisexual members of the Senate, basically moved to tears, nearly crying, telling reporters yesterday that being gay is normal and that this legislation reminds so many Americans of that. And we also see Chuck Schumer wearing the same purple tie that he wore for his daughter's own same-sex uh, marriage. They're expecting a child, talking about the significant moment that this country is in. Let's listen to more of what he said in the chamber yesterday. Bravo. Job well done. And to all who make the choice to support this bill, thank you. None of this was inevitable. At the urging of my colleagues, we took the calculated risk of holding off on a vote back in September because they believed with more time we could build enough bipartisan support to push this bill over the finish line. Today, we have vindication. The wait was well worth it. You know, Schumer echoing what a lot of Democrats were saying, that finally the wait is well worth it. But, you know, Diane, this is not a law just yet as all attention moves to the House. All right. And that bill is headed back to the House now. So what happens next? Well, it's likely that the House will vote it out sometime next week. Could be as soon as Tuesday. The Senate has tickered with a couple of uh, parts of the bill that would appease some Republicans in the House who want to make sure that religious liberties and freedoms are protected. But Nancy Pelosi thinks that she has the vote. So if that gets voted out Tuesday, then it gets spiked to B Biden's desk. And he said he'd love to host all Democrats and Republicans who are here to make this happen as soon as next week or maybe the week after. All right, Brittany Shepard, we appreciate it. As always, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.